What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now we are on part five of my personal rig rundowns for 2022. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at my personal diving masks, the ones that I use every single day, whether I'm just fun diving, whether I'm teaching, or whether I'm out doing some salvage or public safety work. So with that being said, let's jump over to the table and I'll show you my mask and kind of explain why I'm using the mask that I do. All right, guys, this is probably going to be the shortest rig rundown that I do because currently I, there's only four masks that I'm using in 2022. This is by no means all the masks that I own. I own virtually every manufacturer of masks out there over my career, but these are the four that I use day in and day out in 2022. And some of them obviously are used for work purposes. Some of them are simply used just for fun and enjoyment and teaching. And then some are just for nostalgia purposes. And I'm pretty sure you can determine which one that is. But we're going to start with the two here in the middle and I'll kind of work through why I use each one. So my first is my primary mask. This is my go-to for just about everything. This is what I teach in. This is a Mario's X Vision liquid skin and it's just the black and gray color scheme there. I do have a strap cover here on the back. Just about all my masks have strap covers. Um, I get these custom made by the way. If you're interested in getting something like that, I'll drop you a link down below. Um, mine just simply say instructors and then each time I certify a new dive master or an instructor, I actually give that kind of as a graduation present to them as well. But it's a basic Mares X Vision liquid skin. It does have the clear lens, and I like the clear lens for teaching. That way, if I have a student who's not very comfortable in the water, they can at least see my eyes. And if they know that I'm staying calm, they can see that I'm calm, then hopefully that'll help them remain calm during training as well. Now, my backup mask is identical. It's another Mares X Vision liquid skin as well. And, of course, in the black and gray color scheme here, once again, it's got the instructor um cover there on the uh, strap, but you'll notice the lenses are just a little bit different. This is a clear lens. This is a reflective lens. You can kind of see my finger in it compared to this one over here. Now, I actually use this a lot in the tropics or even during the middle of the summer when I'm teaching in the open water portion of the training. I'll use this because it reflects that sunlight away from me, gets it out of my eyes, especially if I'm out there and I've got several divers that I'm trying to look after. This really helps out a lot, but that is my backup mask. So those are my two primary. Now, going over to the nostalgia one, the reason I have this, and yes, I use this one, as you can see, it's got an older instructor strap on it. Um, I've used this quite a bit in the tropics as well, and it's just for nostalgia purposes. Cool little fun fact, back in the 1980s, this was what I actually started on uh, when I first got into diving. Now, this is not the original mask that I started on by no means. We had more modern day masks back then, but this was the style of mask that I got. It was all my family could afford at the time, and so I've always tried to keep one of these old you can call them a sea hunt style mask or a 50 60 style mask if you want but this is a relatively uh new version this is like an excess scuba version from a couple of years back but i've got several of these and i trade them out throughout the years and they're just for fun that's all it is um they're nothing really special so to speak it's just for nostalgia purposes now moving on over to my work mask you guys see me dive ocean reef full face mask a lot currently i've got the space extender here i've got a couple of lights from comfort zone scuba mounted i do have my gsm uh unit over here on the side and then I've got my camera of choice that I've got mounted up here and this is what I use for work as a matter of fact I used this mask yesterday on a boat salvage and we were able to communicate underwater and it really come in handy full face masks are great they are great if someone wants a more um, say comfortable breathing pattern because you neither breathe through your nose or your mouth most people are nasal breathers you're probably breathing through your nose right now so that's a benefit to a full face mask obviously we can add calm units and it protects our entire face if we're in a hazmatic situation and i've been with ocean reef for a very very long time and i really really enjoy their mask but this is my current setup here for full face mask as you can see once again i got lights that are adjustable i do have the uh, camera mounted up because we document all our dives as well especially work dives and it's just an all-around good mask but that's it guys that is my 2022 rig run down my personal mask edition and like i said very short video here but this is what i'm currently using so there you go guys that's my 2022 edition of my rig rundown on my personal diving mask i know it's not a lot probably doesn't look like a lot how can a dive shop owner only own this much well, I don't. I own a ton of masks. These are just the ones that I'm currently using in 2022, and they really come in handy, and they just 
flat out work for me as well. But do me a favor, drop me a comment down below what mask you are using and what you really enjoy about using that mask. How it works for you, is it size, is it just the cosmetics that you like? But drop me a comment down below and let me know what you're using in 2022. And guys, if you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it as well. Stay tuned because we've got exposure suits coming up and I'm going to be making a rig rundown on my personal accessories that I use as well. And guys, I really hope you have enjoyed these series. I've enjoyed making them for you. I enjoy showing you what professionals wear occasionally. So guys, once again, if you liked the video, big thumbs up, definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.